Hello everyone, welcome in another episode of Transport Fever 2, where I'm having fun with virtual trains, trucks, planes, ships and try to not go bankrupt in the process. Before we begin today's episode, I'd like to remind you to hit that subscribe button and use the bell to stay up to date with my latest content. So welcome back in fourth episode of um, our series 2 transport, uh, about Transport Fever 2 where we are playing on megalomaniac map uh, with a whole bunch of mods and we are trying to uh, establish a well working uh, transport business and so far we've been quite successful in those endeavors or endeavors uh, yeah um, anyway we've been quite successful we are making some money however we are we are still in quite a lot of debt so let me just quickly switch to the game window uh, as we are traveling uh, with our uh, newly bought um, passenger train um, that is uh, approaching station at the moment and that's where we need to basically focus our uh, attention today because uh, as you probably remember in last episode I mentioned that uh, we need to start work on on some tools delivery to Seton and I will be slowly preparing all the infrastructure uh, and everything that that we might need uh, to actually start doing so uh, the biggest uh, challenge at the moment is money uh, as you can see we we don't have a whole lot of them uh, we can still borrow some because I managed to, to repay some of the debt that that we managed to, um, to take However, I would like to continue repaying my loans without uh, without borrowing anything uh, any more money uh, because that will eventually speed up uh, our um, like expansion. Uh, I will need quite a lot of uh, money in reserve in order to to establish this uh, tool production. Uh, there are multiple ways how I can approach this topic. So, for today, I decided to expand a station at Seaton, uh, establish some sort of passenger uh, bus or, or coach uh, around the town, so we can get more passengers uh, using that, uh, that, that station that we just built. Also, we need to double track this uh, this part of the route uh, because as we are planning to introduce more trains um, with with tools and and probably maybe throw in extra passenger train when when there will be a little bit more passengers trying to to move between those two towns uh, having having double tracked uh, uh, this this bit of of, uh, of road will definitely speed up uh, the whole process and then there is a big, big decision how we want to approach this topic. So we can either produce tools locally at Carteton, which is perfectly fine. But, um, we can pretty much do it for, for, quite, for quite cheap, I, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it will be much cheaper to establish this, um, this production instead of establishing production in this area where I got everything sorted out uh, however delivering tools from here when everything is established will definitely pay me much much more because I get extra money for distance uh, so those decisions are further away in time obviously we, we first need to focus on on Seton and we don't even have that much money in our pocket, so uh, we we can't be too flamboyant in in, in this case. Uh, so when we establish some some uh, bus transport around Seaton, when we uh, when we expand Seaton train station to, to accommodate um, 
the need to, to deliver cargo and eventually send cargo from, from Seaton, uh, then we will think about uh, establishing some tools production and deliver them to, uh, to Seaton as well. Uh, so that's probably plans for upcoming episodes. Uh, today, let's get to work. So uh, we've placed our uh, seat on train station quite conveniently, uh, which reduces the need of building um, those large bus stations uh, right next to uh, train station. Because all we have to do is to get one of those bus and tram stops. We might even oh no, we can't because that's the only that's the only one we got. Uh, but basically, uh, we've just put uh, the bus station for both ways and now we can think about where and how we want to deliver passengers. And because that's a very, very important question. Uh, let's think how people will move around the town so that we can establish well-working and profitable lines for us. Um, there's no point to, to start moving passengers around if they don't want to use our uh, buses. Uh, so what I've been thinking is to get a street across here. Or maybe I could go a little bit ahead, destroy these two buildings that would cost me quite a lot and build a road across here. Well, there are no bad ideas and I will definitely have to train this town anyway because I want to have passengers and commercial on this side and industrial part on this side anyway. So there will be quite a lot of demolition happening around this town in order to, to make it work. Oh my goodness me. Hmm. Yeah, decisions, decisions. Right, right now I can't demolish those buildings uh, because I don't have enough money. Uh, as soon as my trains start to deliver those passengers, I think, yeah, passenger train just arrived and he's picking up new ones that will happily travel to Seaton, to this commercial area. Oh, there we go, we got some more money. So we can spend 350 grand to actually create that connection. Uh, it is going to help us a lot. Uh, uh, decisions, decisions. All right, let's do it. Uh, you do it only once and, and then town takes over uh, everything from you. I also want to connect these roads so that I got full circle around here. And that is definitely going to be useful. And people will start uh, building homes around here. So I need to be quick with, with my train station. But there is there is still time. We will focus on train station in just a few minutes. Uh, that's that's going to be pretty much entire today's episode. So yeah, if, if you were expecting some, some heavy, heavy uh, truck laying action, uh, unfortunately, uh, we we won't have that in today's episode. Right, I want to get some better roads in this area if I can, uh, because that is going to be quite expensive business. Uh, right, I will close this one so, so I can create all those circles. And now when I got nice road layout, uh, to be fair, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I can now start thinking about how am I going to send people around. Right, I could go a little bit more expensive and perhaps upgrade these roads first. Oh, that's gonna be expensive. That one stretch of road, just because I need to move this building. Uh, but investing in that road right now is going to be very beneficial because later on 
uh, that building might turn into industrial building and moving those will cost you arm and a leg that's that's for sure moving one industrial building is much more expensive than uh, than moving a simple house uh, sometimes uh, even though there are two houses that we need to move anyway I'll leave that bit for now uh, until we until we get some money just waiting waiting until we we get some uh, will will take some time so let's now think where do we want a bus stop so we got one in uh, in our train station so obviously from here we will be sending buses all the way around the town so I would like some people uh, to be able to travel to work so definitely bus stop in this area would be very very useful and we can go with large circle uh, routes uh, obviously and we can go with some smaller circle roads as well um, there's pretty much no limit on how many bus and 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 other stations we can establish uh, so I will put a bus stops in here I would like to have some bus stops in here for the future use perhaps uh, before I will place those I would like to get that road upgraded so I will put my bus stops here right bank in the middle and then having a bus stop perhaps here will be very very useful so people can walk from these homes get to the bus stop and, and basically catch a coach into into the town uh, obviously something in the center is also useful but how am i going to approach this so hmm it is very interesting so I might do one-way system later on uh, which would be very very useful in town especially so so having this bit separated as a big massive roundabout will definitely help me a lot uh, later on in the process so for now I think that would be it um, is this going to bring me a lot of passengers? Not really. I wouldn't count for that. I can eventually put a bus stop here and create one small line around uh, around the station and then create another small line with focus on passengers. So everyone would try to change at passenger station, which is very convenient in fact uh, I might in fact do that this way yeah sounds like a plan we can eventually go for for a bus stop here do I want to have a bus stop in here uh, that's going dangerously along my tracks I don't think that's a brilliant idea though Nah, I would need a bus stop here because later I want to cross that way. Right. So I'm gonna go with bus stop here. And then I can upgrade. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. There we go. Thankfully, train arrived so we can upgrade these roads. Good. But now we don't have any money. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. All right. Uh, we will have to wait a bit. Uh, I'll be back with you in just a couple of minutes when my trains will generate some money. All right. So we are back. Uh, I think uh, we should have some money in our pocket. Yes, there we there we go. We we do, so we can continue expansion of our business. Uh, so we left off with a couple of uh, bus stops built. Now we need to design bus lanes. So 
uh, let's establish a new lane let's call it bus and then hmm, it is a seaton so uh, there are multiple ways how we can do that we decided that we will have north and south uh, side of seaton uh, divided or pretty much let's call it north and south uh, just for our reference so that's gonna be sit Seaton North and it is going to be clockwise line when it comes to color oh uh, we lost that uh, Seaton North clockwise there we go uh, when it comes to colors uh, that is going to be interesting I will pick similar color to Cartiton uh, let me just check it there we go oh that's um, for clockwise we got dark green there we go so now we got Seaton clockwise uh, as a green line and that's gonna be north so providing that uh, station is uh, directed between west and east north and south will be appropriate sides so north will be this side so let's put some extra well let's put some bus stops in shall we so this is supposed to be clockwise line so we will start at Queens Road uh, for our reference then we will go through Manchester Road, Mill Lane, Park Avenue and back to Queens Road. Should I throw one more bus stop in here? Um, we could, but why? Uh, I think these guys can walk uh, not that far. Right. Now we can set up a new line and this one will be called Bus Seaton North Counterclockwise and, uh, and we will give it the same color as Carterton Counterclockwise line. Again, uh, all clockwise lines will have green, all counterclockwise will have that dark blue or uh, or whatever it is called. I'm, I'm terrible at naming colors, so my apologies. I do recognize them, but I'm terrible at naming them. Anyway, um, let's get to it. Oh, we were... Uh, oh, dear, dear, dear. Yeah, oh, why did I start a new line? Anyway. Oh, do you say to me? Right, a uh, counterclockwise line will go opposite direction, obviously. There's not much to it. There we go, and it's done. Right, we've just established a new line. So this time, this is going to be bus Seaton South clockwise. And again, this one will be dark green now oh, you were supposed to be dark green there we go I might think about uh, different colors when it comes to uh, coding anyway uh, we will start at Queens Road we will go down to York Road Victoria Road the groove and then I think we can go back through Manchester Road and Queen's Road. Fantastic. Uh, so this one is definitely much, much longer, but well, there's a little bit more to, to cover. So we got two, uh, two bus stops that people can use to change uh, the line. They can change at uh, Main Station or they can change at Manchester Road. It is going to be very, very convenient. If we would just left one station, uh, we we could have seen a very very uh, large crowd in in one of those stations. Especially that Manchester Road happens to be a station right before Queens Road, 
so I am expecting this one to be very very crowded in both directions. Right, anyway, let's set up the fourth line, so that is going to be bus, Seaton south, counterclockwise, there we go, and this time, once more, I'm getting that dark blue color. And straightforward, let's just assign those bus stops and we're done. So we got four, uh, four bus lanes to uh, fill in with buses and conveniently our uh, passenger train just dropped off passenger and we got some extra funds to work with is going to be very very convenient so for north lines they are very short I would like to start off from two buses per line obviously maintenance is going to be very high I'm not expecting to make a lot of money out of it so these guys are going to uh, first north line these guys are going to go to second north line. Was it? Yeah, okay. Good that uh, at least one of the buses is opening so I can see where I sent them. <laughs> okay, both north lines have some buses in. Now, for south line, there is one more bus stop. And I will add one more coach to, to each of these um, just from the get-go. Uh, obviously, we will have to modify that uh, sooner or later. So I will start from counterclockwise line. And now I will buy another three for clockwise line. And there we go. Okay. So our buses are on, we got quite a lot of buses, but Seaton happens to be quite a large town. Uh, mostly because it was constantly supplied by um, uh, by our trucks with uh, with construction materials. Right now we, we've established a passenger route between other towns, so Seaton is actually booming. As you can see, it is constantly growing. Uh, residents are super happy to have more opportunities to be transported. And the town is growing up to 264 residents. So it is going to be a core of our industry right now. Uh, Carterton will be 248 people. And so again, uh, with those two towns, we can make some big money and as you can see we are already making profits which is good and apart from our Seaton lines even Carterton lines are making profit which is very very rare for me to, to actually make profit out of bus lanes uh, I usually lose quite a lot of money on those but I'm making a lot of money on on train lines even passenger ones so um, so there is that trade. You need to sometimes invest money and even fund someone's transport in order to, to be able to make a bigger buck out of something else, which is a good lesson to learn about this game. Um, obviously, it's it's very beneficial if all uh, all of your lines are making big big money and and large profit. All right, so. Now let's focus on expanding this train station. So we need um, a cargo platform, that's for sure. And we might use some pass-through tracks. So that trains don't have to uh, go through the platform. The question is, do we want to invest a whole lot of money right now to build such pass-through trucks or do we want to leave it for later and eventually rebuild the station at, at a later time uh, there are multiple ways that we can approach this and I think for today we could do with just small expansion so let's get into 
station expansion and if you install all the mods that I did you probably have this hopefully looking menu with bunch of modules and and stuff like that so we got extra tracks that we can uh, lay on on this station they have speed limits for change uh, we can always uh, build standard tracks that that have standard 120 km uh, per hour speed limit however traveling through the platform with high speed while there are passengers in there is not not the smartest thing to do uh, while rail usually doesn't doesn't uh, limit the speed if, if the station allows for for higher speeds I don't think it would be safest to, to design a station with a high speed so uh, I did uh, I think I did put a 40 km per hour speed limit track on on this station anyway right now we need to expand further to uh, to the south and think about a cargo platform and then rebuild the station approach so do I want to just put a um, cargo platform right behind passenger platform? That is a good question. Is there, are, there are multiple ways that we can do this. So we got, uh, we got this ground cargo area, which we could eventually build and it will increase the storage area for our station. I don't think we need to do that. But what I've been thinking about is to do something that will look nice for this station. So first of all, our station is missing some sort of a roof. So I will put some in the middle so that our passengers can benefit from having some enclosed area. Uh, while on this platform they can always hide inside the building or underneath this small roof that I just put on the other platform they might have a little bit more issues so I build up full roofing right uh, what else we can do right let's focus on our goal so um, that's our passenger buildings now uh, do we have oh yes yeah. we do have some fences and walls so perhaps we could build some sort of fence in here before we start laying some tracks and and build cargo part of this station hmm do i want in fact this looks good right so let's put this wall uh, right behind the platform so that people won't get stupid idea to to get into cargo platform for uh, for us good now what we can do uh, can we lay tracks we we can we can actually lay tracks right behind this wall and have trains pass uh, behind uh, behind the platform in a safe way uh, so that uh, so that people won't have ability to, to eventually uh, get onto the train's way or we can eventually build platforms straight away huh. or even better oh if I would do that it will build a wall I do not want that. I definitely don't want to have a wall on, on this side. Let's see if I... Oh, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Right, so if I won't build a track, then I am kind of screwed. Yeah, because that's gonna build a wall and I don't want this wall to be built. Right. Uh... Okay, that's passenger part. How do I do that? I definitely don't want to have a wall on both sides. That's that's for sure. So I will have to lay some trucks. And what I'm going to do with those trucks, I will do some 
thumb. Oh, that's how it works. Uh, oh, oh, that's even worse. Hmm. Right, 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 right. I get you now. I get you now. So I will eventually have to go this way with that platform. Oh. Not, not, not too happy, not too happy. How am I supposed to approach this target? So, I could go with invisible module. And it's putting... Oh my goodness me. Right. I'm not happy about it. I'm really not happy about it because I was expecting this fence to stay in here. Uh, but eventually, it just doesn't want to cooperate. So I will have to separate those stations. Hmm. Not, not a good sign. So what I can do in order to make sure these tracks are on even ground, I will lay two, uh, two tracks. Now, what I'm going to do is to get into track building. And there are tracks that I installed that were, oh there we go, old standard tracks. And these are, oh yes, great. These are a little bit rusty and they have that unique look to them that eventually something, something happened. Right, 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 right. I totally get you. I totally get you. That's how we are going to do that. And we are going to use an old method that I've been using in a previous walkthrough. If, if you've been watching carefully, I will build that station the way I want, oops. Uh, but I need to do some, some sort of crazy magic. Right, I'm going to use these old tracks to help me a little bit. Because as you can see, I can lay them where I want. It's very, very good. Uh, I will just do double tracking, there we go. And I'm gonna use these tracks to set up a platform. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I don't need these ones. Yeah, I, I just need these ones. Uh, they are in a perfect spot. Okay. Hopefully everything will now work. So let me configure this construction. And now I can build a platform. There we go. So what I can do, I will build a cargo platform in here. So that is going to be my cargo platform. There we go. And that is going to be my cargo platform. Now I can delete this truck and I can lay this cargo platform. Now I can delete this truck and perhaps I could... Can I? Uh, no, I can't. Oh my goodness me. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, right, I get you now, I get you now. Question is... If I can... Put invisible module here so that it connects this station eventually. Oh, and it don't tell me it disconnected. This one's connected. But this one doesn't seem to have rail connection. Okay, okay, tracks. Yeah, I can now lay tracks 
though if I would put these trucks here very very good and now let's see if I can use that invisible module that that I just built to connect these uh, old trucks uh, that's not exactly what I wanted but well it is what it is okay it works it works I got those old trucks that are no longer used as a separator from normal trucks that are in use okay that is going to be a nice visual element uh, because those new trucks as you can see they are perfectly clean free of any debris however this one seems to have some sort of debris on it so that is perfect perfect in fact what I could do uh, let me just remove the configurator instead of laying these tracks I will put pens manually so let me just think what I can build is that terrain I think it's terrain assets there we go and I can find some sort of pens JK cargo I could eventually put some cargo Fences? Do I have fences? There's definitely fences. Yes, there we go. So, now we got nice fences and we can think about something good. So, I think this fence will do good. Oh, distance to track. Oh, I see. So if I would eventually sort it like that. There we go. Oops. Uh, I still need to work on, on the camera. Um, perhaps like that would be good. There we go beautiful that is absolutely beautiful okay okay I love it yes that is awesome right I just need that one pillar question is can I build a pillar on its own oops uh, I just need to find this so if I could get that yeah, this one ended with a pillar. Finish. Oh, there we go. So if I would just... Oh, that looks awful. No, 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 no. Okay, now, now I get it. Now I get it. I have to put that one pillar back here. Uh, can you please fine tune yourself? There we go, that looks perfect, well, not perfect, it's like a bit wonky, but yeah, it looks good, uh, I think it fits within within like a um, agreeable uh, standards, I guess. Uh, right, so we got our station ready, it's all connected, uh, so there is passenger station, there is cargo station with one single track on it and a platform separator which is very good and um, there is that empty space that looks quite awful uh, but i will think about something cool in there uh, i might perhaps throw in some some extra rubbish in there so like uh, there we go some some old uh, wheelbarrow uh, some some stacks, uh, things that people would normally probably uh, store somewhere else, like uh, barrels, uh, anything that that people would probably uh, throw just randomly into into a floor, and because they are too lazy to to actually do something about it, and and that's that's how you work in in many industries. You just throw things around, and and you think that everything is perfectly fine so we got some wooden boxes 
uh, we might have some uh, extra storages organized here and there because uh, there might be not enough storages in actual storage rooms uh, so yeah uh, that that looks pretty pretty good uh, let me just put some extra fence in here uh, so now I do have uh, what does arc do that's that's a good question so if I would put this thing okay 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 if I would do hmm. okay okay arc and that that is a curve so perhaps if I could do uh, oh maybe a line I mean line will do do good um, yeah that that looks pretty pretty good uh, I like it so we got some uh, we got some fencing sorted um, I think we should have enough space to, to actually get out of with trucks yeah there we go there is enough space um, now we can think about how to connect with with the actual trucks uh, first of all I would like to lower that to be a bit more in par with uh, with the actual road yeah that that starts to look pretty awful i will have to modify this bit of a road so it gets a bit smoother approach because there's quite a uh, quite tall uh, approach to this right how do i want to get here uh, i think uh, considering the fact that we can benefit from this signal I could just do that the problem is that I would have to change this signal to both ways signal or replace them and put them on these trucks while these uh, one-way road signal oh, how do I do that that's a good question Yeah, let's do this. Then I can delete this signal. Now I can... Ooh, wrong signals. Uh, let me just find standard signal for now. And this is one-way signal. I want you to just get out of the station. This is two-way signal. Because you are not only getting out of the station, but you are also getting into the station. And as there's going gonna be only one train coming in for now we can eventually deal with that this way okay so what else can we do uh, we can do some some nice oh uh, wrong wrong stuff uh, i want trucks we can eventually use that old truck that, that we've been using before and create some nice looking sidings. It's gonna be pretty pretty hard to actually fill those sidings with with anything but for now they will actually look pretty pretty good. So we can eventually create sidings like that oops is that not enough that's that's definitely not enough so let me just delete this one and perhaps get into uh, do I have enough approach uh, might be tough can I please oh yeah that might be oh yeah, we could do that yeah we could technically do that that looks kind of realistic in fact so yeah 
that's the way we can do it so we got some old siding uh, we got some switches right before uh, crossing everything will go slow in here uh, so that looks uh, pretty pretty good if you ask me uh, there is no other station building that connects to the road but uh, through the passenger station uh, things can be eventually transferred uh, to, to actual normal station. We can even expand this little siding with, with another truck that will actually look pretty realistic. There we go, uh, let's go ahead and build a third truck. They are all uh, quite old but and uh, that's fine uh, i wonder if we can eventually build those old trucks uh, on this station i don't think they they are present here yeah uh, we don't get those too bad too bad uh, because then we could create sidings that that would actually support uh, trains stopping on them so we could park some some wagons in here um, it is still possible I could place a waypoint in here, ask the train to, to go to the waypoint. The train would go to the waypoint and I would stop it and, and it's perfectly fine, it would be uh, stuck in here forever. Uh, so I will eventually deal with that. Until then I could do some, some modifications like, uh, let's see if I can find some nice assets to put on there. These are overpasses, I don't need overpasses, I don't need fences. Uh, posts, nope. Nope. Uh, placeable class 37, that's definitely not something I could place right now. Oh, there we go, British Yard, uh, Yard Thingy. So having extra lift might be probably quite useful. Um, how do I want to do that? Yeah, I think... Let's see. Okay. You can use it like that. So this guy can always turn this... Uh, this thing uh, to the other side I have some fire buckets I'm not sure if I can place them somewhere uh, okay I can definitely turn them oh there we go I can even place them on the wall which would actually be good let me just do that uh, can we do that? Yes, we can. There we go, we got fire buckets, just in case there is a fire. Um, British water tower. Yeah, why not? For now, we could perhaps build this one. Question is, is the train going to fit underneath? Or perhaps do I need other tower um, we could eventually use this one or 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 is this thing going to turn by any chance I don't think it's going to turn but we might do like a service yard somewhere here so if we could install this tower on on this side I think that would do the job, is it? No, it isn't. Um, we need to find a better, better spot. Uh, is this right above the local or right above where the local would be? I think we could say that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so we got some assets put in place so that so that it can look nice okay we got water tower building we don't need that 
uh, signal box. Yes, signal boxes are very, very useful. So definitely, um, how do I want to place it? In fact, here at the crossroads would be the best way. Is it? Yeah. Let me just lower this building. So it is at the street level. There we go. Now this looks realistic. That looks really nice. So there is some, some extra things happening on this station. We now can use terrain tools to smoothen this bit of terrain because obviously nobody would would create that that large hill next to the station there we go smoothen this up let's smoothen that up there we go we can now see approaching trains good good that is awesome that looks absolutely good Okay, so we got our cargo station pretty much done. Uh, I don't think I can find any... Oh, there we go. I can even put some cargo wagons on those sidings. Fantastic. That is so, so cool. There we go. Uh, let's perhaps put... Yeah, let's put this one uh, here. Uh, can I put them closer to each other? Yes, I can. There we go. There are some wagons on the sidings. So we do have a yard. Um, that is absolutely awesome. So let's put these three here, there we go, uh, absolutely amazing, right? So now we got pretty cool looking yard uh, right in the middle of the town and it is ready to accept some cargo. Uh, we can even go ahead and let's say attach some uh, cargo uh, building next to, next to the station so that it will uh, simulate the fact that uh, loading and unloading cargo can happen through there uh, because um, train station on its own doesn't have such facilities so if we will go to configure cargo buildings we can then for example place this small uh, buildings right next to the station and say that yeah uh, we are unloading our goods on on this side so we've just destroyed some uh, some buildings but uh, what we can do is to get that very very small street uh, let's move it very very close to, to this building oops uh, perhaps here there we go so that is access for let's say trucks or, or something we can uh, we can do it that way and then we can, for example, oops, uh, connect it to the road, can we? Well, yes, we can. Uh, let's, let's get some better, better connection. Um, perhaps here, that would look best. There we go. And now, Depending on, on how we want to do it, we might just go with with a short approach, just like that. There we go. Everything is built up. Uh, we can even do some uh, beautification in in this area and then smack a proper truck uh, terminal here or here or anywhere else. Right. Anyway, while we were messing with our station, we managed to accumulate quite a fortune. So, I'm not going to lie, uh, as this episode is slowly coming to an end, I believe repaying my loan will be the best way to do it. It will save me some costs, and with those reduced costs, I will eventually 
um, be able to, to progress much much faster because uh, interest on those loans is actually killing me a little bit anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video um, thank you very much for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to get informed about my new content hit that notification bell button and don't forget to share your comment down below have a great day and see you all later Latter. Out.